Okay guys, we're gonna work on solving inequalities um, and graph the solution. Um, so just a reminder, I'm gonna make a couple of notes down that if it, and this is what we learned back with lesson um, 17 with inequalities, that if we have a greater than um, or a less than symbol, then we're gonna have an open circle. All right, then if we have a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, then we're gonna have a closed circle, meaning it's gonna be shaded in, okay? That means that it's gonna be shaded in. Um, then uh, the direction of which the um, arrow is pointing in is going to indicate the symbol, the inequality symbol, uh, the direction that it needs to go in. So if we look at number one, we have eight is greater than x plus nine. So what that means is we need to solve for what is the value of x. So in order to do that, we're gonna do the same thing like what we did when we worked with equations, okay? The only thing different is we have symbols. We've got um, symbols that indicate and take the place of the equal sign. So we still want to get rid of the constants and have our uh, coefficient with our variable remaining to isolate that, that variable to see how much it's worth, what is its numerical value. So on this sheet, we're gonna work a couple of these together and then the rest you'll work on your own. So if we look at number one, again, we have x plus nine. So we gotta perform the oper opposite operation. So the opposite operation is to subtract nine on both sides of, of the um, inequality. So when we subtract nine here, that's gonna cancel. And we're gonna to have to do the same to the other side. So if you had eight and you subtract nine away from it, that means we're gonna have a difference of negative one. And we still have it's greater than the value of X. Well, a reminder that when we go to graph this, we cannot graph it in this form format. We have to make sure that our variable is on the left-hand side. It's written on the left-hand side of our inequality. Um, so we're gonna reverse this and write it as X. And again, you read it as X is less than negative one. So what that means is we need to put, since this is a, a less than symbol, it's going to be an open circle. We're going to find negative one on our inequality, which is, I mean, our number line that is, which is right here. We're going to have an open circle. And since it is um, pointed in the left direction, that means our arrow, our shading is going to go to the left-hand side because that means all of our answers to the solution here have to be less than the value of negative one. So it would be true if we shade it to the left direction because negative two is less than negative one, negative three is less than negative one, negative four is less than negative one, and so on and so forth. If we look at number two, we have 48 is less than or equal to six X. So there's only, this is a one step operation here. Um, so opposite of multiplying by six is to divide by six on both sides. So 48 divided by six gives us a quotient of eight, less than or equal to X. That's what we're left with on that side of the equation. Again, we're gonna have to reverse that inequality um, here. We gotta make sure we write our variable first and it, our variable is X is greater than or equal to eight. So we're going to uh, look at our number line. As you can see, our number line, they have it uh, set up in increments of eight. So each tally mark, each, each benchmark is worth a value of eight. So we are going to put, um, since this is a greater than or equal to symbol, that means we need to shade in our circle. It's going to be a closed circle. So we're going to put a closed circle here. And since it is... Um, since it is uh, got to be greater than eight, that means we're going to go to the right direction. So that means all of our uh, solution, all of our values for the solution to this inequality is gonna be greater 
than 8. And that would be true since our shading is to the right-hand direction because 16 is greater than or equal to 8. 32 is greater than or equal to 8. And anything um, after that, of course, is, of course, greater than or equal to 8. All right. If we look at number 3, we've got 12. 12 is greater than or equal to x minus 9. So we are going to add 9 to both sides of this inequality. And we have 12 plus 9, which is 21, is greater than or equal to x. And again, we're going to have to reverse that inequality um, to make sure that our variable is written first on the left-hand side of it is less than or equal to 21. So we are going to put, again, a closed circle because our inequality is less than or equal to. We're going to put a closed inequality uh, circle at 21. So if we look, we've got it set up in increments of 3. So we've got 0, and then the first tick mark is 3, second tick mark is 6, then you've got 9. So that would be 12, 15, 18, 21. So it's going to be closed circle here. And then we're going to shade to the left direction because that means that all the solutions, um, all the values to this solution that is possible have to be less than or equivalent to 21. So that could be uh, 20, 19, 18, 20, I mean uh, 18, 17, 16, 15. It could be negative 9, okay? It just has to be less than or equivalent to 21. If we look at number 4, we have... X divided by 3 is less than 5. So, the, again, this is a one-step inequality. We just have to perform the opposite operation of division, which is multiplying. So we're going to multiply by 3 here and multiply by 3 here. So we're going to be left with X is less than 5 times 3 is 15. Again, this is a uh, less than inequality, so it's going to be an open circle. Open circle we're going to place at 15. And then we're going to shade um, and put an arrow to the left direction because that means all of our numbers that are possible solutions to this inequality is going to be less than 15. So you've got 10. It could be a decimal. It could be negative 20. Any number that is um, less than 15 are possible solutions for, for this inequality. Okay.